Today I got a bunch of Gloom Spike Get Grots for Warhammer Fantasy slash Age of Ultron. I got these good fellows because I saw Fiverr at Sugar Candy Miniatures did a bunch of clown theme gets for Pride Month. And I really love the message, and I really love clowns and goblins, so I decided to do my own. So I built a bunch of Gloom Spike Git Grots normally with their spears and clubs, but I got a bunch of green stuff sculpting putty to give them ice cream or cotton candy. And this fellow will be the banner. He has a giant blob of green stuff that I turned into a lollipop. The wrapper is literally just tissue paper and glue. Elmer's glue. I probably should have put the wrap it on at the end, but I'm not very smart. And after Prime of Grey, I base coated their handles with ivory. Keep this at your side, you'll be using it a lot in this tutorial. I like to have my orcs and goblins have different skin tones. You can do whatever you really want, but for these guys, let's just have it basic, and some of them are Uruk Flesh by Citadel, and some are Tan Flesh by Army Painter. Sort of a Warcraft reference to have some green and some tan. And then I use that same ivory by Vallejo to paint their faces, their clown makeup. Some of their faces I only painted ivory and not a skin tone underneath for good makeup. And then I purposely had some with sloppy, you can still see underneath the makeup because, well, they're goblins. They're not the best at anything, so they wouldn't have great makeup, all of them. And then from here, use whatever colors you think would look nice. I used basically everything in my paint collection. For the guy with the ice cream, I gave him mint chocolate chip with Wizard Orb and Dark Angels Green by Army Painter. And then to paint the cotton candy, I base coated with ivory, and then on some of them I made it pink with Hot Pink by Deco Arts, which is the perfect, blindingly bright hot pink I wanted for cotton candy. And then for the guy with the blue cotton candy, it was Baffaroff Blue by Citadel, just to be different. Apply your normal shades and do whatever else colors you think would look nice. I wanted this guy to look like Wonder Bread because I'm weird like that. I only used very little amount of contrast, surprisingly, on these guys. And to do their bases, it's a straight up like Fiverr Elemental Bolt by Army Painter. And then I dry brushed some Mook Green by Citadel on top of it. And then shade it, instead of using Hex Ray Flame, I used Tesseract Glow. I used very little metallics for these guys. So this guy had Glorious Gold by Vallejo on the little stars on his net. And this guy got to keep his stick with a nail in it for funsies, and I used Lead Belcher. To decorate their bases, I put on some of them cups from Marvel Crisis Protocol bases to make them just red solo cups with ivory and Mephiston Red. And this person got a straw, and this was an idea by Fiverr to use a normal straw and then stuff it with green stuff sculpting putty to turn it into popcorn. Fill in the back with green stuff and then just clump up some green stuff for the popcorn itself, painting it with white as a base, and then over top, Moon Dust by Army Painter, shading it with syrup from Sepia. I actually had a stripey bendy straw used for this and glued it down. But then I remembered, oh yeah, straws are transparent. So I ended up still painting over it with white and a fist on red. And I probably would have just primed it again if I had the thought to do this beforehand. But whatever. And after a matte varnish, here they all are. Send in the clowns. And I paint some other guys who look like how you're normally supposed to paint a gloom spike get grot. You know, just a little different. But what do you guys think? Do you like how these fellows turned out? Do you think this is a really dumb idea to turn goblins into clowns? Do you like the idea? Will you make your own like this? Let me know in the comments below. I'm not actually associated with Sugar Candy Miniatures, but if you want them and other people actually collab with them to look at your goblin clowns, remember... Hashtag Clown Gobbos.